I think with Mademoiselle Guillaume, one sees constantly her need to impose herself physically upon the role, to let people know that it is she, Sidney Guillaume, and not anyone else. It is a matter of those extraordinary extensions, the legs zipping past the ear, which are quite unnecessary and sometimes wrong for the choreography. It's not as if she was the first to introduce this in British ballet. If you look at photographs of British dancers, even before she arrived on the scene, you'll see that they're all trying to kick their legs just as high as she is. It's just that she is the one with the physical ability um, to do it best and to do it most impressively and to make the audience watch it. One of the choreographers best able to exploit Guillaume's extraordinary gifts is Maurice Béjar. Most recently, they worked together at his studio in Lausanne on a new ballet about a deranged woman who may or may not be the Empress Elizabeth of Austria, known as Sissy. Guillaume learns parts extraordinarily fast, and creating the 40-minute solo took just six days. Oh. Many people ask me also uh, why, why you learn fast and how can you remember all these steps. I don't know, it's, uh, I mean, if you ask me to learn a text, I mean, it will take me ages, but steps and uh, maybe the music, maybe the, the movement and the body feelings help me to do it. I, I really don't know. I just hope I will be on time for, for Tuesday. <laughs> I have never seen anybody like Sylvie to learn steps so fast. Sometimes I create, and sometimes she creates me. Sometimes I just have to follow her feelings, her breathing, her, the color of her skin, the, the, the bright of her eyes, the movement of her hair. All the inspiration is coming from the subject. So the ballet is it's like a ping pong between her and me. So many things of the character were the same. This kind of proud and sensible and touching and, uh, and aristocratic at the same time. But she couldn't stand the rules and she had a lot of fight with everybody. And, uh, and I think that Maurice Béjar sought a little bit of that uh, with me. self-critical. I can't sleep very well after a performance because it goes from the beginning to the end and I just see all the performance uh, as it was. So sometimes I sleep well, sometimes I don't. <laughs> she gave quite extraordinary performances, I thought, in uh, Sissy, that she was more mature, more touching, more true than I'd ever seen her before. <laughs> 